once upon a time, in the ancient world of European mythology, there was a mighty Greek hero named Hercules. This hero, renowned for his strength and courage, was not unfamiliar with the concept of resistance. He faced it in the form of 12 daunting labors, each one a metaphorical representation of the hurdles we confront on our journey of personal growth and transformation. Consider Hercules' first labor, the slaying of the Nemean lion. This monster was not just a creature of flesh and bone, but a symbol of the initial resistance to change we all experience. The Nemean lion, with its impenetrable skin and sharp claws, seemed invincible, much like the fears and doubts that creep into our minds when we consider making a major career transition. The task seems insurmountable, the resistance impenetrable, but Hercules, armed with nothing more than his courage and determination, faced the lion. He didn't shy away from the challenge or retreat in fear. Instead, he stepped into the unknown, armed with the belief that he could overcome this beast. And overcome it, he did. With his bare hands, Hercules strangled the lion, turning the beast of resistance into a symbol of his victory. The story of Hercules and the Nemean lion serves as a powerful reminder. Initial resistance is a natural part of any journey. It is not a sign that we should turn back, but an invitation to step forward, to confront our fears, and to embrace the change we seek. Much like Hercules, we too face our own Nemean lions when we consider a career change. It could be the fear of leaving a stable job, the worry of venturing into an unfamiliar industry, or the doubt that we might not succeed. But these fears, much like the Nemean lion, are not invincible. Just as Hercules faced his fears and overcame the Nemean lion, so too must we face our initial resistance to career change. Hercules' second labor was to slay the Linnaean Hydra, a creature that grew two heads for everyone that Hercules cut off. The Hydra, this terrifying creature, is not unlike the inertia monster we often face when considering a career change. Inertia, the tendency to do nothing or remain unchanged, can be a formidable opponent. It's the comfort of our daily routines, our habits, our familiar paths. It's easy to let inertia take over, to stay in the same job, the same field, the same routine, but, just as the Hydra grew two heads for everyone that Hercules cut off, inertia can multiply if not addressed properly. So, how do we slay this inertia monster? Well, the key lies in disruption. We need to disrupt our old habits and form new ones. This can be as simple as changing our daily schedule, or as complex as learning a new skill. To start, let's take a page from the ancient Greek philosophers and practice self-examination. Ask yourself, what habits are holding you back? What routines are keeping you in your current situation? Once you've identified these, you can start to disrupt them. Next, form new habits. This doesn't mean you have to completely overhaul your life. Small changes can have a big impact. Try setting aside time each day to learn about a new field or industry. Reach out to people who are already working in the area you're interested in. Remember, it's natural to experience resistance when breaking old habits and forming new ones. You're stepping into unfamiliar territory, and that can be scary. But just as Hercules didn't back down from the Hydra, we shouldn't back down from the challenge of change. In the words of the renowned physicist Albert Einstein, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. Let's embrace change, let's embrace growth, and let's slay the inertia monster. Just like Hercules found a way to defeat the Hydra, we too can overcome the inertia monster. The third labor of Hercules was to capture the golden hind of Artemis, a task that seemed impossible because of the creature's speed and elusiveness. Just like Hercules, we often face our own golden hind in the form of the fear of uncertainty, especially when contemplating a career transition. This fear is elusive and fast, darting around the corners of our minds, making the task of career change seem impossible. But as we know, nothing is impossible for those who are determined. This fear of uncertainty stems from our innate desire for stability and predictability. It's the fear that whispers, what if things don't go as planned? Or what if I can't do this? It's the fear that keeps us chained to our current career paths, even when we yearn for something more fulfilling and rewarding. To conquer this fear, we need to first acknowledge it. It's okay to be afraid. Fear is a natural response to change, but we should not let it dictate our decisions. Next, Equip yourself with the tools to navigate the unknown. This could mean gaining new skills, acquiring further education, or seeking professional guidance. 
Much like Hercules, who was trained by the centaur Chiron, we can seek the help of career coaches or mentors who've walked the path before us. Their experience and wisdom can illuminate our path, making the unknown less intimidating. Remember, it's not about completely eradicating fear, but about learning to coexist with it. As Mark Twain once said, courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not absence of fear. Finally, consider what you stand to lose by not making the change. The comfort of the familiar may seem appealing, but remember a ship in harbour is safe, but that's not what ships are built for, the same goes for us. We are built to explore, to grow and to realise our full potential. So let's embrace uncertainty as an opportunity for growth. Let's view it as a chance to create a career that aligns with our values and passions. As Hercules eventually captured the Golden Hind, we too can conquer the fear of uncertainty. Hercules' fourth labour was to capture the Erymanthian boar, a creature that lived in the comfort of the wilderness and was difficult to lure out. Just like the Erymanthian boar, many of us find solace in our comfort zones. These are spaces where we feel safe, secure and free from the threat of failure or discomfort. Yet, as reassuring as these comfort zones may be, they often hinder our growth and prevent us from pursuing new opportunities. Imagine if Hercules had chosen to stay in his comfort zone, refusing to face the Erymanthian boar. He would have failed his mission, and his journey to become a hero would have been cut short. Similarly, by staying in our comfort zones, we risk missing out on the chance to realise our potential and achieve our career goals. So, how do we step out of our comfort zones? The first step is to recognise that comfort is often the enemy of progress. It's important to challenge ourselves, to push our boundaries and to embrace the unfamiliar. Remember, growth and comfort do not coexist. Secondly, stepping out of our comfort zone doesn't mean we have to take giant leaps. Small incremental steps are often more effective. Start by setting realistic goals, then gradually take on bigger challenges. This approach can help build confidence and resilience, making it easier to tackle even larger obstacles in the future. Thirdly, adopt a mindset of continuous learning. Embrace every experience, whether it's a success or a failure, as an opportunity to learn and grow. As the saying goes, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Lastly, surround yourself with people who inspire and challenge you. They can provide the support and motivation you need to step out of your comfort zone and embark on your career transition journey. Just like Hercules lured out the boar from its comfort zone, we too can step out of ours. So let's take that first step. Let's embrace the unfamiliar and let's start our journey towards career transition today. The fifth labor of Hercules was to clean the Augean stables in a single day, a task that seemed beneath him. In this legendary tale, Hercules, a hero of immense strength and valor, was set a task that appeared on the surface to be mundane and unworthy of his capabilities. This is akin to the doubts we face about our self-worth when contemplating a career change. We often question, Am I worthy of this new opportunity? Or am I underestimating my abilities by choosing something different? These doubts, just like the Orgean stables, can seem insurmountable. But let's delve deeper into the story. Hercules, instead of walking away from the task because it seemed beneath him, chose to face it head on. His strategy was ingenious. He rerouted the rivers Alpheus and Peneus to wash out the filth, completing the task in a single day proving that no task was beneath him or beyond his capabilities. What's the lesson here? It's about reframing our perspective. Instead of viewing a career change as a step down or an admission of failure, we can see it as an opportunity for growth and learning, a chance to reroute our own rivers. So how do we overcome this doubt of self-worth? The first step is awareness. Recognize these feelings of self-doubt as just that, feelings, not facts. Next, confront these doubts. Ask yourself, what evidence do I have that supports these doubts? More often than not, you'll find the evidence is flimsy at best. Then, reframe your perspective. Just like Hercules, see the task at hand, not as a menial chore, but as a challenge to be overcome. Use your skills, your smarts, your experience. And remember, change doesn't equate to downgrading. It's an upgrade, an expansion of your capabilities, a chance to grow. Finally, seek support. Talk to mentors, coaches or trusted friends about your doubts and fears. You'll likely find that you're not alone and their encouragement can help you see your worth. 
as Hercules completed the seemingly menial task, we too can overcome our doubts and realize our self-worth. Hercules' final labor was to capture Cerberus, the three-headed dog guarding the entrance to the underworld, a task that seemed impossible, a feat that threatened failure at every turn. Yet Hercules, with his unwavering determination, completed his task. Just like Hercules, we too often find ourselves confronted with our own Cerberus, the fear of failure. This fear can appear as a daunting three-headed beast, each head representing a different aspect of our apprehensions. One head might represent the fear of losing stability, the second could symbolize the fear of judgment, and the third may embody the fear of regret. This three-headed monster, our fear of failure, can paralyze us, keeping us from pursuing the career transition we yearn for. Yet remember, Hercules did not vanquish Cerberus through brute force alone. He used his wit, his courage, and his resilience. Similarly, we can tackle our fear of failure not by avoiding it, but by confronting it, understanding it, and learning from it. So how do we do that? Let's start by adopting a growth mindset. This mindset encourages us to see failure not as a dead end, but as a stepping stone towards success. Every setback, every rejection, every misstep is an opportunity for growth and learning. It's about shifting our perspective from fearing failure to embracing it as a part of our journey. Next, let's learn from our past failures. They are not meant to discourage us, but to guide us. Each failure is a lesson, showing us what didn't work and nudging us towards what might. It's about changing our narrative from I failed to I learned. Remember, just as Hercules was not alone in his labors, neither are we. Reach out, seek support, find your allies, embrace vulnerability, and let it fuel your courage. Just like Hercules overcame his final labor, we too can conquer our fear of failure. With resilience, a growth mindset, and the courage to learn from our past, we can turn our fear of failure from a barrier into a bridge, leading us towards the career transition we desire. Now that we've explored the different forms of resistance, let's delve into why it's important to act now. The power of now is an incredible force. It's the magic moment where we can turn our intentions into actions. We've all heard the saying, there's no time like the present, and it couldn't be more accurate, especially when we're talking about career transitions. Procrastination is a tricky beast. It's easy to say, I'll start tomorrow, only to find that tomorrow never comes. According to a study by the University of Sheffield, people who procrastinate on making important decisions like a career change often experience higher levels of stress, dissatisfaction, and regret. And let's not forget the cost of missed opportunities. Every day you delay, you might be missing out on a chance to grow, to learn, to experience something new. The world is moving at an ever-accelerating pace. In the time you've spent contemplating, someone else might have taken that step, seized that opportunity, and moved ahead. The Harvard Business Review also highlights that individuals who take swift and decisive action are more likely to be perceived as effective leaders. This is crucial for those of you seeking leadership roles in your new careers, but the power of now is not just about the external world, it's about you. It's about harnessing your motivation, your energy, your passion, and using it to propel yourself forward. It's about taking that first step, however small, towards your desired future. Now, does acting now mean rushing into decisions? Absolutely not, it means start planning now. Start researching now, start reaching out now, start learning now, start preparing now, start doing something, anything that moves you closer to your goal. So let's shake off the shackles of resistance. Let's embrace the power of now because the future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. Remember, the best time to act is now. At M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we're here to be your ally in this transition. In the epic tale of Hercules, he was tasked with 12 impossible labors but he didn't face them alone. He had allies, mentors, and guides who helped him navigate his path. In the same vein, embarking on a career transition can feel like an overwhelming labor. That's where we step in, like the allies of Hercules, to support you in your journey. We understand the resistance you may be facing. Remember the inertia monster we talked about, or the fear of uncertainty. And let's not forget the comfort zone conundrum and the doubt of self-worth. These are formidable foes, but they are not unconquerable. We're here to help you overcome these obstacles one step at a time. At Mjoga, 
we equip you with the tools and strategies to overcome resistance and navigate through the uncertainty. Our team of highly skilled coaches and consultants have been in your shoes. We've faced our own career transitions and understand the complexities involved. We provide personalised coaching and consulting services tailored to your unique needs and aspirations. We don't believe in a one-size-fits-all approach. Instead, we take the time to understand your situation, your fears and your dreams. We then work together to formulate a plan that will lead you towards your desired career transition. But it's not just about the transition. It's about what comes after. What does success look like to you? How do you define it? We help you answer these questions and guide you towards achieving that success. In the words of the renowned author Paulo Coelho, there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. We're here to ensure that fear does not stand in your way. So like Hercules, let's conquer these labors together. Let's overcome the resistance and make your career transition a successful one. We at M Yoga Coaching and Consulting are here to help you conquer your labors, just like Hercules did. Let's summarize the main points we've discussed today. We've journeyed through the mythical landscape of resistance, grappling with the inertia monster, the fear of uncertainty, the comfort zone conundrum, the doubt of self-worth and the fear of failure. Each of these, formidable in its own right, poses a significant challenge to those yearning for a career change. Yet, as we've seen, these monsters can be vanquished. The inertia monster is overcome by momentum, initiated by taking that first crucial step. The fear of uncertainty is quelled by gathering information and devising a solid, actionable plan. The comfort zone conundrum is solved by embracing discomfort as a necessary part of growth. The doubt of self-worth is dispelled by recognizing and valuing your unique strengths and abilities. And the fear of failure is conquered by viewing failure not as a dead end, but as a stepping stone to success. The power of now is an empowering tool in this journey. Delaying your career transition only serves to rob you of the fulfillment and satisfaction you could be experiencing in your desired vocation. The present moment is the most opportune time to take action towards your career transition. We at M Yoga Coaching and Consulting are here to guide and support you through every step of this transition. Our experience and expertise are at your disposal to help you navigate the rough seas of change and arrive safely at the shores of your new career. We invite you to book a complimentary career breakthrough call with us. This call is a golden opportunity for you to gain clarity about your career transition, identify the obstacles standing in your way and formulate a strategy to overcome them. In the words of Hercules, it's not what you get by achieving your goals, it's what you become. Let's embark on this journey of transformation together.